God, what, what was I? What was I here for that? I was here for that for some reason. Doing something.
74 
Welcome into the Boise State Esports Arena. Tonight you are watching our coverage of ECAC Valorant Fall 2022 season. This is week four. It is Boise State looking to keep their perfect win streak going up against Sacred Heart that is one and two right now here tonight. You can see some of our players here in arena as we do the little bit of a tour here. And I am your host, Colby D'Angelo Alloway. And joining me tonight to call all of the action is Colin Risky McJunkin. And tonight, because Boise State has such a massive win streak, well, I get, I guess three and O is pretty massive. We're yeah, the only yeah, one yeah. with that perfect record. And I agree. So we're looking to keep that going. Mm -hmm. What can the Broncos do to keep that up? On uh, that same level, where I, you know, I remember when we were doing this casting for Week One, and we were talking about the difference mm -hmm. between like pride and confidence, and your and your <laughs> and your chest held high and your chin held high. So I think if they keep doing that, uh, in that sense of understanding that that borderline that's there. Uh, between being too confident and but being prideful is sort of – that's that first step, right? We know they can win. They keep doing it, and they're a very good team. We've seen that firsthanded. So I think if they just acknowledge that and they keep moving forward as a team, I think they keep rolling here, and they're looking to win the whole thing. So what do you think would be an example of being, like, maybe, you know, too cocky or something like that versus, like, what is just being prideful? What does that look like in gameplay? Uh, I always like the the facade, uh Wow, I'm going to ignore that word because I cannot say it. Uh, it's sort of like the ideology of sort of no mercy. You mm -hmm, taking your mm -hmm, opponents 100% mm -hmm. of the time. Of It's the moment you kind of pull back of, oh, this is super easy. We can start trolling now. Uh, I never liked that personally. I think if you just 100% no mercy, roll them, get over with you, sort of you create that dominant sphere around yourself mm -hmm. and, and that mentality, which is something I think a team should cradle a little bit. And you've also taken an opponent seriously. Yes, exactly. Because if you've given 100% of your effort and just absolutely rolled them, you rolled them at 100% of your effort, right? If you're just going to try to, like, all five members are going for knife hits, right? That's a little bit dishonorable. And, I mean... No good. <laughs> a little bit sketchy. So this is ECAC Collegiate Valorant, 5v5, best of three, first to 13. And it will swap after the 12th round. And Boise State is a team that is very adept at both attacking and defending. Mm -hmm. Are there any age? Oh, first we're going to go Doc's keys to the game before we get into the agents discussion. Doc's keys to the game in Valorant are to focus angles and flank. Know your win condition. Count cards and call abilities. Click heads. And Doc's keys to the game are brought to us by Drop In Gaming. Drop-In Gaming is the premier online platform for gamers who seek competition. Play your favorite games to win cash and prizes through free and paid entry matches and tournaments. Whether you're new to the scene or a seasoned veteran, Drop-In Gaming has the right games and competition for you. To begin your competitive gaming journey, sign up at dropingaming.com. Now, before we get into the match, we're going to do a little bit of discussing what agents you maybe think you'll see tonight. Uh, well, just starting out on, like, first map, which mm -hmm. we know is Fracture. Uh, so kind of we know that there's sort of always a, always a meta around there uh, when it comes to maps, sort of like Icebox and other maps like that have certain levels of uh, dictatorship towards what is determined as a good operator there. Um, you're always going to have these meta, meta characters like Chamber, like uh, Sky, or not Sky, I'm sorry, Jet, that are going to be always in the meta. No matter mm -hmm. what map you go on, they can be a viable pick that is here. Uh, I'm expecting a Viper here. Mm -hmm. uh, of chamber, more than likely. Uh, a sky is your initiator, possibly a KO. Uh, those can be pretty interchangeable. A jet will most likely be chosen, especially for like sky. They try to go, yeah, going right into it. Oh, so we actually have a raise as their duelist. A breach was going to be that fourth. Uh, we actually have a Brin as our controller and a, a KO. So, so we actually only have the, the, the double initiator comp. So how does this differ from what you were expecting? Uh, the Breach is actually always a really good call. I was not expecting the Brim, but Brim is very popular on this map. I was expecting more of an Omen for that call. Uh -huh. And a Raze. I was not expecting a Raze. But I guess uh, Aldman is also pretty well known for being our Raze player so far. That's fair. It looks like we have Rihanna kind of going around. J-Bag searching for the enemy team so far. Oh, some shots are exchanged as Aldim is going to take down Cruzy there. Pretty quick fashion, that is Boise State up one with a minute and 17 seconds remaining. They hit the site very fast Ooh. with a lot of speed and very big tempo, but there goes one actually in the pick on <gasps> Rihanna. 
playing strong, yeah. playing in our corner. Here comes with the flash. Daniel. Ooh, got him. Ooh. Ooh, are they gonna? They are gonna be able to get that second one, oh. and that is Boise State getting the not quite the perfect flawless that we were looking for. But I mean, with four members still in the game, can't complain. That's still, you know, first round, really good ecos. Not something you can complain about here. They hit the site very fast, not giving Sacred Heart really a lot of time to react here. They get, they did get that pick on the flank there, but from that point on, you know, Boise State knew exactly what to do to execute the site. Oh, look at that. Did we it see the flash? And then there was nothing that Brendan could have done there. Sorry. It was, yeah. So about how many rounds do you think it takes to start being able to snowball? Of three. I'd say, I think if, about you, three? if, if you 3 0, uh, you have a pretty good chance of, of winning. It takes the enemy team a lot to get back into it. Mm -hmm. Ooh! Oh, a lot of util to have does force Condor out. That's exactly what they're looking for. But now they have full control of it and full control site as well. And it looks like as we're kind of like approaching that B site there, we Spike see Daimyo planting. planting. War and Peace is waiting around that corner with that Sky Flash. It's all the damage. I was getting one on the Brandon. The Flash is going to come out. Action. Mike gets one. Oh. Was just a pixel away from getting two. And then, then again, that is Boy State wiping out the entire Sacred Heart team with only one member down. So, according to Colin McJunkin here, we just need one more round before Boy State can kind of get the snowball whirl in here. It's just more. It's it's not it's not uh, undoable for Sacred yeah, Heart definitely. to come back, but it takes so much more effort here because they kind of they're starting to buy a little bit heavy buy, and that's a lot. Their money is decently low. Like, that's a lot for their loadouts there, starting out 2,000 right. credits. So they are hoping to buy, they are hoping to get as much damage here and to win. Because if they don't, that's a lot of their eco ruin. Doing the same formula on B, putting a lot of utility that comes out the brief flash. Multiple players coming out. Ooh, Ooh that's a great Condor for Daimyo. Ooh, and then the oh, ring. Brandon's going to go ahead and get that three-piece. Wow, Sacred Heart went all in on this round, and it looks like it might be them 4 0 Boise State this round in terms of eliminations. Rerian is going to come and take it down War in Peace. So now the best they can do is 3-1. and oh. one. There it is. That's that 3-1. and one. Sacred Heart really turning it around. And that's exactly what they needed. That's exactly what Sacred Heart needed to mm -hmm. execute this site perfectly. Uh, I believe, yeah, Brendan getting that three-piece there swings the momentum so much in Sacred Heart's favor. And now they're in this game because now Boy State's Eco is a little bit on the rougher side and Sacred Heart's in the running in terms of that. Brendan gave him a shot. Yep. Let's see what they do with that shot. It looks like both teams are kind of trying to find each other. We see zip lining. Looks like they're defaulting a little bit here. Leaving Spike in spawn. <laughs> They're just going to be looking for info, looking for picks, see what they can move out. What is this? What is the Daimyo's looking, seeing to find, trying to find some people. He's going to end up getting flashed there. We see it looks like a B point approach, but Boise State is kind of doing like a little bit of a split push. You see their members are split over there on site A, but they do have sight lines on each other to help out. No full commit here. We do see uh, Boise State with the spike now moving over towards A. There's only one defender on A. They're moving out. They smoke off heaven. Probably hears it on drop. This means action. Should see this gets the pick on one. Oh, Boom. action! Action's gonna put Boise State down two. Now only down one as All Dim's gonna get an elimination onto Cruzy. And then action themselves. All Dim's just popping off. That is a triple kill there with two remaining members from Sacred Heart. And 44 seconds remaining as the spike's being planted. All Dim might have to read. Did see Condor there. Now knows he's not going to take their eyes off. Gets the call out with the ping. Is he does oh. it. Remaining. The crouch is there. 2v1 here. They know where Condor is, but they're just going to play for Spike. But one of those members of Boise State is really, really weak, so yeah. that 2v1 might not, not actually be as tilted away from Condor as we think it is. Quick gun swap. They are holding a crossfire here. Oh! oh. Wow, J-Bag just gunned him down there. That was quite the flick coming up from J-Bag. And it looks like as, so Boise State has given up a round, but now we are three rounds up. Mm -hmm. Do you think that this is still the point where Boise State can start to build the snowball like you were talking about? Or do you think that Sacred Heart winning that run round has stopped the whole thing? No, it's simply still snowball. I mean, you can just kind of look at Eco there and what they have built. Uh, a lot of Boise State has uh, rifles while Sacred Heart has 
uh, pistols and first round eco. So it very much is in Boyd State's favor from this point on. It's going to take a round or two for Sacred Heart to build that back up, but it looks like they have a decent read. Ooh. Shock is going to come out there. Going to get three, but they have no follow up on it. They're just kind of playing slow here. They're making the rotate read. They still have two on B here. Brandon does get smoked off. They're going through long. Boise State's committing all five to A. If we see some gunshots oh. exchanged, all damage is going to be able to take out Cruzy. Skies, or Cruzy's going to take this out is... down all damage, excuse me, and Skies will take down Cruzy and Brendan, leaving Boise State up one as j Bank starts to plant that spike. Spike play. is very doable. Action. We're going to have to get to <gasps> Oh my gosh, Action's just going to keep going. Ooh, oh, misses yeah. that one shot there. We're going to see if they'll be able to peek. Ooh. Oh, this is very good ult till you coming out. Gets it. There's Action, the main player down. One enemy remaining. Now it's just one down. Get back at Skies. Sitting in short here. And try and look to peek. He's going to... Deciding what to do only has a classic here. I did not know they only had a classic here. Oh, no. Their options are very limited what they can do. The stun's going to come out. The flash might as well play to get anything. Might want to catch up the rotation. Isn't going to get it. Yep. Yeah, there that is. Then you might as well just add the bomb for ego's sake. That was... Action almost had the turnaround there for Sacred Heart. I believe if Action would have got this pick on Disguise... Mm -hmm. This like lash, the last shot that he misses here, right? Mm -hmm. I think that I think that's just such a turning point. That if that if that shot would have landed, would he gone a completely different area for Sacred Heart here? Oh, definitely. No BM to action though, because they did just take out those two immediately, oh, yeah, one no. after the other. Oh yeah. Just that TP happens to come in right there. So is this the round where you're expecting kind of a full buy or a half buy? Uh, I was not able to see. Probably, you know, probably more or less a full buy. Is probably what they're going to for. The O on to heaven is going to force the breach out. Jumping out does get picked oh. out by Rihanna. They now have to pull a sight here. Danny's going to pick up Condor. Brendan's going to get J bag here. Probably got that while they're trying to plant Spike. Was no room to go. Here. Spike does go down. This is Boise State up one. Currently, we do see that KO for Boise State looking a little weak there. As Skies is kind of trying to find some enemies, knows where they are, exchanges some shots, takes out action in the Battle of the Chamber for Easy Chamber. That is a beautiful gun. Gonna peek it again. It is. It is. Just, I got so sidetracked by the Last little bubble that sounds. As, oh, 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 nice shot. That looks like as we go around. Here. Daimyo's having to rotate back. Can't take War and Peace in the direct shootout there just because their health is limited. War and Peace is on the approach. Oh. Ririana's going to end up taking out War and Peace. Just click more heads. Doc's keys to the game. That was a smart peek by Ririana as well. Sort of like that. That didn't stop for like this half second and then kept walking as well. It's one of those annoying things that happens of a lot of times there's a player in Valorant. You sort of just stop as soon as you see a player and try to click their head. But more often than not, you see this like sprint to the side. It works. It works sometimes, you know, not all the time. It's not permitted all the time, but it works. But their eco is back in the gutter this time around for Sacred Heart. Uh, this is where I do see the snowball effect kind of really start playing a heavy effect in here. Definitely. You want to play? Let's play. Just because it's going to take them about three rounds, I want to say, to be able to afford the full buy again? Uh, probably one or two, I'd say. One or two? Or, yeah, one or two. Until they can read it, if they if they really save off the beginning, yeah. Get back some stun action. Now in a bad Safe spot. Now, trap. I believe outside of anchors as well. Yeah. Ooh, gonna action's gonna off. get caught out by Ririana there. The remaining now. members of Boise State, full strength. Sacred Heart only at four. We're gonna see oh. Brendan get down in that hallway there. Ririana's looking for the next member for Boise State to pick off here. Looks like they're gonna be rotating back around for an e commit. Nobody on site there. We do start getting the rotation come out from Sacred Heart. They're not, we <laughs> say is not exactly on site either. Oh, wow. The dink from Condor leaves Sky at exactly five HP. <laughs> that is sweet. We're gonna see if Boise State is able to kind of get the spike planted before the remaining members of Sacred Heart can move on to point B there. That looks like that's gonna be our battlefield. We see the flash come out. We see Cruzy go down. We see Daimyo oh. getting that little bit of a flank and that is a flawless victory for Boise State. First run of the night, one and six. 
This is that first boss, and this is exactly what I was sort of getting at. This is this is where I think Boise State's getting in their comfort zone. Mm -hmm. Of they are now getting in their comfort zone of how to attack these sites, and they're getting very comfortable in these one v ones because it's just they know they're on an eco. They know they can they know they can bully their way through the site because of the gun advantage. But I think they also have a little bit of respect on Sacred Heart's name because they definitely shown wow actually actually pulling out the uh, the eco warrior. Um, I'm forgetting sniper. I'm forgetting the name of this weapon. An operator. Jeez. Mm -hmm. I think I, I played a video. Respect the operator. You can't peek the operator. You have, yeah, you have to respect it in action. <laughs> oh. <gasps> I don't know if there was a lot of respect for the operator there. They just took him straight Back out there. A. Great job by Boise State. Boise State up one. So this won't one be a flawless victory, but it looks like pretty secure Boise State victory is all damn plants. Oh. And they're gonna go ahead and get that final elimination on the bread. I think it's four. He just, I mean, that's so unfortunate for action. If it just gets absolutely one tapped as soon as he rounds the corner. I honestly thought that was gonna be a collateral. I saw that mm -hmm. I was more surprised by action going down there than I was going to be if he got the collateral here. Like just, the, it, lined Ooh, up so, it lined up so yeah. perfectly and it was, uh, but you know, unfortunate turn events for sake part, but this is what I mean. Boy State is playing these sites really fast. They, they know exactly what they want to do here. I want to say that Boise State saw the operator and was like, oh, got to click first. And lo and behold, they did. Well, Primer didn't even know they had an operator. This is awesome. Cruzy is fast. He's going to get it. Lightning speed. Right into Cruzy's face. Cruzy wasn't ready for it. All day. wasn't ready for Condor's follow-up there. J-Bag is ready for the follow-up, though, but not ready for Brendan's follow-up. We see trade for trade. We see both teams at 3v3. Now 3v1. Wow, an amazing yeah. double kill right as I was talking. War and Peace, we do see that ultimate out. See if it's going to be able to get anybody Found there. They, they use the ultimate's going to let him know that everyone's here. Do we have Rihanna waiting on sight? No active ults. Spike planted. Going to plant for playing long here. Skies does have the operator here. Warren Peace here's doors <gasps> open. He's he going to check it. Rihanna aggressive <laughs> to peak. Is not going to be scared one little bit. He's going to pick off Warren Peace. Just like that. And now, Boise State's up 8 1. That's a lot of. I think what we're seeing a lot of is there's like still targets, right? Yep. So Sacred Heart is standing still trying to hit their shots while Boise State is at least still moving as they're trying to click heads. And I think just like we saw there with Rihanna winning the duel, I think that's helping them on an individual basis. Mm -hmm. I th they, they also know where this. They know where to peak. And this is where the experience of our players come in, right? They know these angles. They know the map extremely well. They're not going to be surprised by too many things. One round, they may be caught off every now and then. But other than that, they know exactly what they want to do. Off your feet! Ooh. So we see some ultimates coming out. No eliminations just yet. Right as I say that, ooh, Brendan takes one to the face right there. Leaving Blizz stay up one. Down even is actually... No, now down oh. one, down two as Cruzy goes nuts! Sky says an operator here. Damio is not down. If they can get the revive here, they're gonna risk it. Oh, we have to pull off. Does get <gasps> sniped. Player standing. There's Damio down for the count. Two v one here with an operator here, but does have the headhunter for the operator. Oh no! Oh, not uh, quite gonna be able to get that elimination right when they peek. Condor's gonna get the defuse. It looks like the full defuse. Yep. Yeah, they're gonna take both of that. Tried explosion. Not the fan. They had to have picked up the operator. No, they had. To. There's no shot they didn't. Oh, I definitely hope they do. Which actually switches Eco a lot in Sacred Heart's mm -hmm. favor. Tell me about that. Yeah, it's just, you know, that simple little turnaround for them is, is all that really matters. They do lose quite a bit of manpower there, which mm -hmm. is gonna cost a lot of money, but they should yeah, they have they have the money, they have the resources to full buy here. Cruzy is gonna have a lot of money as well to sort of carry over the next round. Uh, eco wise, you know, Boy State's still so strong and you know, if Sacred Heart manages to pick up another win here and not lose a lot of people or pick up a win, period, for this round, it's going to be pretty impactful for them. They no. might be able to snowball Boys State. Yeah, it's it, it, it's going to take a lot. It's a big mountain to climb. Cruzy is going to commit the ult here. Oh, you can't see anything. Can't play the game there for a second. J-Bag kind of shooting into the smoke. Not actually going to be able to hit anything just yet. Cruz is going to take out Rihanna, but get taken out themselves. We see Skies kind of shooting into the smoke. Teams know generally where the others are at, but not a lot of... 
Ooh, Ooh. right as I say that, Condor is going to get that elimination straight on the Daimyo. j -Mac on their third elimination now, going to take out action. And War and Peace is the last man standing as they go down for Sacred Heart. Last round before the... Yep, and we're going up to last round, so it's going to take everything for, for uh, Sacred Heart to kind of pull back here. It's... Boise State knows where to hit, and they know to take mm -hmm. this Heaven Sight every time. They have taken it fast. They have not spared anybody that's held that. We did see the trade, which I believe was the first time I've seen in all the rounds hitting B, that Sacred Heart manages to get a trade there, but once you have Heaven, you have a lot of control of Sight from that point on, and Boise State's able to capitalize on that. What's the importance of controlling Heavens? You just, you get this such a large uh, field of view over mm -hmm. sight, and not just sight itself, but also where defenders are rotating from. And for the majority of this game, it's been where Sacred Heart is rotating from. But Tammy, I was going to mess up the nade here. They know he's dropped now, or at least sitting near Dish. Yep, we see lots of smokes coming out, kind of blocking some sight lines. Ririana's looking for a big, long flank there. Looking for that rotation. Or no, pick. excuse me. That right? is our KO. No, that is Ririana yeah, that and our KO. Ririana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's both of them. Okay, oh, yeah, yeah, six and seven. Oh, is it going to get on a cruising? Flank's paying off. That is Boise State up one. It looks like j is going to get taken down. out, but right is lots of trades coming out. This oh. is trade for trade, leaving Boise State and Sacred Heart even at 2v2. And they have sight. They have bomb control now as well. Damio and Ririana looking for their rotation pick. Ends up surviving it but not before the uh, the attackers that were on. Hey, sorry, we're taking it from Boise State. Oh, Daniels are looking for those sidelines there. Boise State is pushing together. Brendan's just kind of shooting through some smoke there. Knows the members of Boise State are there. Brendan is going to get taken down as well as Condor, both to Daimyo. It's Boise State, now two to 10. Switching sides. I like the attempt to use that ult there. I think they, they definitely could have played a lot, uh, a bigger retake. And what they, you, what they, were you looking and, for from the uh, right? Brim's ulti is really good on that post plant. Like as soon as uh, if you if you wait for the tick, uh, of uh, the audio cue of when they of when they uh, put down the bomb, you can ult that you can ult sight relatively knowing it's a very big ult, very big uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. field of impact. So if they could have waited here, I feel like that ult could have been used a little bit better. But you know, two ten, it's looking like Boise State's gonna put first map in the bag. So I think at this point, but I'm interested to see how Sacred Heart attacks. You know, they're five, they're five second A, so they got to be pretty confident going forward with Ottomans going to be contesting them right off the bat. They also need to make sure that they stay in a really good mental place. Aldium's going to get the first elimination. Ooh, and that was even for a while, but now J-Bag's going to break that evenness. Remaining. Last hero Spike standing down, is action spawned. against three members of Blue Oh, no. oh. <gasps> Ririana wasn't ready. The right click was... Devastating there. They both weren't ready. They both walked yeah, they out both with their like knives <laughs> out. They went, what the? They're like, oh, there's a guy there. Yeah, there's a person here. And it was just the first person to swap off their knife, won that duel. Action's got to make a movement towards bomb here. But Boise State is hovering over bomb like a couple of scavengers here. So It's they, about half HP, though. It doesn't have a lot to work with. Could nope. maybe capitalize on the weak member of Boise State. Just land maybe one or two shots, but then there's still Daimyo, who's full health. Has a sheriff here, so it's very possible to click heads. The jump spot is going to pick up action here. Put down the anchors, the TP away, gets an info. Has roughly about 25 seconds here. Has seconds to make left. a play on the bomb. <gasps> Daimyo keeps peeking. J-Bag wisely staying out of sight with that low HP bar. Action has to go in, though. They know. They're they know he's coming out there. Peak. Clears the corner. Oh, oh, gets the pick. <gasps> this is a shot. Oh my wow. gosh! Action is going to clutch that amazing job. I just want to say, started that with 45 HP. Yeah, I, and that's that's why it's sort of like he has the sheriff. It's mm -hmm, very mm -hmm. possible to do it. It's They're both very low. I don't think they had any shields there. So it was it was definitely a very winnable thing for them. Just hit the first shot after peeking. Yep. Yeah, that, that turn there is absolutely amazing. Pull the trigger faster. The whisk that came out after, I believe that was from, from J-Bag as well. Just one shot from the ghost would have ended it, but did not turn out that way. And now Sacred Heart's got a little momentum on their side. Three to ten, though. It's going to be a... Oh. Attack 
However, Ottoman puts down two. They are hard pushing the site here. It's oh, it's Condor! The two for two! Oh, standing. three! <gasps> That's one. JBEG is the final remaining member for Boise State being hunted down by the three from Sacred Heart. Action is now going to sit in this corner. I'm going to be surprised if oh, JBEG clears it. Oh, check it. your corners. Does oh, not did clear he know? it. Ooh. There it is. And now it's Boise State's eco that is that is really hurting going to the Yeah. Corner. Now might be the time where Sacred Heart gets to snowball a little bit. Oh, yeah. You think? I think, that, I think they make this a closer game. I think so. But Boise Hold State, on. you know... Did they need to four man push out of out of out of B? No, not exactly. I think they're feeling a little confident here, but you know, when Boy State resettles back into it, it's it's a it's a different story. It's a different game. I think their I think their confidence is kind of. I think they wanted to just go in there and just kind of have that round be done with, right? <laughs> yeah. But I think Sacred Heart is at this point kind of used to the level of aggression that Boise State's coming at them with. Mm -hmm. Expecting it, yeah. Yes, I think they're expecting the aggression, whereas in the beginning they definitely were not. It's not the aggression. Back onto their spawn. And they're fighting on spawn here. Site is open. If they push on the site and plant here, they're forcing Boise State to their hand. <gasps> oh! Trade for trade. Daimyo for Brendan. We're going to see. Skies can't see a whole lot of anything right there through that smoke. He's going to get some visuals on the enemy. Wow. Ooh, going to get action just right there. Planted. Waiting for somebody to walk into that hallway. Now Rerun is going to be dropped. Might get the drop on the Condor instead. Does it quite see? Sees it. Get Ooh. Skies. Knows he's in there, though. Rerun and knows Condor's in there. And weak. Gotcha. There it is. Oh. Little dink to the shoulder. Ult is available for BSG here. Flash. He's gonna get one, the stun, double flashing as well. Both have sheriffs. One oh! Rurion is gonna go down. That is Boise State down to one final member, which is JBAC, who's gonna get taken out. Wow, Sacred Heart is turning this around. What what adjustments does Boise State need to make to their strategy? You know, like you know, they're they're pushing very hard at the spawn, and they're only leaving uh -huh. only leaving skies here to realistically defend site. You know. Is sort of uh, leaving him high and dry there. Where and I, I think, I think their sky, I think War and Peace and their breach played that very beautifully in unison with each other. The stun and then the peak coming out from the sky as well. It was played beautifully. Right so I think they did that round very well. I think once Boy State dials back into it, starts putting some respect on Sacred, Heart, Sacred Heart's name. Uh huh. I think the outcomes turn out to be different. I think um, pushing into their spawn. Yeah. Definitely a little bit more risky than we're looking for, especially as Sacred Heart just keeps going up and up these rounds. But Boise still, State is still up five, so we definitely yeah. we definitely still have a comfortable lead to push spawn a couple more times. But at this point, we know it's not the best decision. Ooh, Cruzy's just gonna take down Daimyo there. Not outside the spawn. Oh my goodness! Ooh, guys, as well, that is Boise State down two. All right, Rivian is going to stop Cruzy from getting a flawless clutch there. War and Peace is planting the spike. So now we're going to see what Boise Launching State can smoke. do. They've got to do something to stop that, whether that's eliminate the entire team, which JBag is currently working on. Oh, Ooh. Ottoman doesn't see that. Last thing gets killed. Breach hold does get committed here. Going to use a lot of util here. Most likely can stun off. <gasps> Condor is going to get caught down in that same corridor. JBag kind of shooting in the smoke. They know he's there. They know he's hiding in that corner there. No, he didn't, I guess. Just turned away from it for just a second. Now it's up to Ririana. The 1v1. There it is, Ririana. Comes in with that triple kill. Maybe? Doesn't have time. Wow. The Molly. The Molly was big brain. Oh. Risk. Risk. His own life. But that was the smarter play at that time. Did that perfectly. So walk me through what happened there with the play by Molly. The just you sort of notice like he gets uh, he gets cornered here a little bit, and he does exactly what I think was probably the smartest play he could do. He sort of just turns his corner. He could easily take this gunfight. Instead, takes out the Molly, throws it onto Bomb, and now Ririon is only 22 health, so can't uh -huh. risk getting on Bomb. We'll just die anyway. But quite honestly, I think even if Molly didn't go down, I think it was too late anyway. Been aggressive on the backside B here. To no avail, they're gonna find out nobody's there. 
They're actually on the opposite side of B, slow pushing it. They know Ooh, action's they know I, The action's peaking. Exchanging some shots with Skies there. Ooh, I've got your the trade. One. Sky almost going to be committed by Sacred Heart. Are they expecting action to still be sitting here? No, they are not, but that doesn't matter. Damio's going to get the pick. Now it's a Vandal. Looks like Boise State is up two now. He sees some ultimates coming available by Sacred Heart. Final member. We'll see if the Skies can clutch. It's going to be pushed so heavily. It's not going to survive it. Okay, but Boise State got to win there. And after... Losing so many rounds consecutively, this is what we're looking for. We're not letting Sacred Heart kind of just yep. keep winning rounds, keep building up their pool here. And doing that on sort of a, on an eco round for ourselves as well. And having now four ults with uh, now Chambers ult going to be committed to this round as well. But Sacred Heart also has a lot to commit here as well. They only have two more rounds to really contest, so it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be interesting to see how they're gonna use these ults going forward. And if Sky's gonna get any big pick going forward, it does oh, get one. There's one. Look for two. There's two. It's two. Condor is not gonna peek that. <gasps> no, no, Condor is no Condor is not gonna peek that corner. They know where Sky's is. Mm -mm, they're not having any of it. Has bomb too, and it's getting pushed heavily on both sides. Its peak doesn't work. Oh, oh. Standing. So Spike close to getting down, that, uh, that last peak. Mm -hmm. That last kill. Looks like War and Peace is again the That's last member standing. 6 and 11. In the favor of Wood State, we see that grenade go around the corner. Damn it. So, Rerun is going to get the kill on the zip line, I think. Yes! Actually. We love the zip line v zip line. The Match zip line point. kill is going to be uh, quite interesting. But now Boyd State's on the edge of Match point. taking this whole thing home. So getting this two-piece here absolutely destroys Sacred Heart's uh, momentum. I mean, there's just there's nothing they can really recover to after that. Especially in the beginning, just taking yep. out those first two. And it's like, well, the most we can do is with three people then. Important characters as well. Because that's your breach and your that's your main controller. Or not, yeah, that's your that's your only controller and your main addition. All Dams looking to pull some tricky stuff. They're going to take out Brandon Cruz. He's going to take out Daimyo, though. Actually, we do have the opportunity to maybe get in there and help Daimyo out. Is All Dam going to be able to do it? We see him looking. Oh! Seven health, yep. It's going to have to force the ban Daimyo. It's like I can't do it for you, buddy. Sorry. The ultimate here doesn't get action. <gasps> 5 Five HP though. Wow. You could come up and knife him if you wanted. As well. This might be a battle of the knives. You can see it. No, it what? looks like it will not happen. Defenders. Skies is just gonna peek around that corner, and that is round one. Going to Boise State. And Boise State Esports is always looking for talented players, production, and broadcasters. Top talent, along with good grades and eligibility, can earn scholarships as well. Sign up today by visiting boisestate.edu slash esports for more information. So, map one was not as clean as we would have that, liked it to be if, in this best two of in if, this best of three. If Skies is listening, that last flick better be going on a highlight reel. <laughs> I swear that was so nasty. Oh my goodness! But yeah, that was that was that was a good match for both sides. I could see. We saw Sticker Heart and a little bit of attack. I believe Fracture was our pick. So next yeah. map is Breeze. So I would like to see what they're really looking forward to because Viper wasn't used. But there mm -hmm. has to be a Viper here on this map. So I'm going to be a little interested in if I wonder if Fracture was their uncomfortable map because every team has one. Breeze is Viper yeah. or bust. Uh, yes. You think? If you're not playing Viper on uh, on Breeze, you're not playing that map seriously <laughs> because it's 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 a very big and open map. It's mm -hmm. massively open. And Viper, besides the new character Harbor, which will we we will not be seeing in collegiate or competitive play for probably the next couple weeks. Yeah. But it's just such a big, wide open area. If you're not using Viper, you're not playing it, you know, really competitively. And plus, with the post-plant opportunities that Viper has as well, brings a whole level of opportunity as well. So, yeah, I'm, I'm expected to see a lot coming out from Sacred Art here. Because they're going to take mm -hmm. six rounds off yeah. of Boise State, who's been a rolling team in this Definitely. ECAC tournament. So, I'm excited to see what their next, what their map pick is going to do for them. And kind of how Boise State reacts to it as well. 
What do you think? Because it's clear that taking six rounds off of Boise State, several of them immediately consecutively after each other, just taking round after round after round until Boise State was finally able to stop them. What do you think just needs a little bit more cleaning up from Sacred Heart? Uh, I think I think they did everything uh, well so far. I think it's sort of they were able to pull off these clutch moments that were there for them, and I think that's the biggest part to it. They did that extremely well. They they had those moments where. Uh, as as Boise State casters, where it's like, oh yeah, Boise State has this, especially being as a dominant team as they are. But Sacred Heart was there, competing with them, mm -hmm. going blow for blow, taking these rounds off of them. So that's exactly what I mean by I'm I'm really looking forward to how they how they contribute to Breeze. I think the best thing they did right was mm -hmm. punish aggression. Yes, yes, I think if there, I think if there was one big area where. Maybe they could use a little bit, just like a little bit more, I would say it would be in like hitting the shots before Boise State does. Because we saw like we saw when two people look at each other, it's like 50-50, right? Mm -hmm. Usually. And I think if Sacred Heart was able to kind of like turn those duels around when two people see each other and get the faster draw there, I think they would win. I think they would win enough rounds to really make Boise State uncomfortable. Yeah, that's 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 we go back to basics of playing any video game, right? Clicking heads Click is heads, so yeah. important in anything you do. So yeah, I think if I think if Sacred Heart ends up tuning that up, yeah, I think they have they have a very big chance to move forward here uh, and take a map off of Boys State as well. So we see the overview of Breeze. Other than Viper, are there any standout agents? Um, you'll probably see a KO. You'll definitely see a Chamber as well. Um, mm -hmm. In terms from there, it's sort of – Asova is also pretty big uh, in terms of initiator. Fade as well. Um, a large pool of, 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 of agents can be selected. Okay, so I see that Fade. What's Jet bring? Uh, just, the sa just getting a character any ability to, to crack out of their minds, like just go, <laughs> to, to go insane. Jet's that meta pick that in every map is going – there's no map that Jet isn't – meta in, or is it relevant? Yeah. <laughs> right at the bat, Damian taking an aggressive stance. Oh, Ooh. what happened there? Gonna take the crosshairs off right when the person comes oh. into sight. Ooh, we see lots of trades coming out here. That is going to stay up one, now up two. No, yeah, up two. Ooh. And now only up one, now even. Oh, now up one. Oh my gosh, so many trades are coming out. Condor is definitely putting in some work. And Boise hey. State's own jet is so weak that it's round one going to Boise State. And there's that Viper that we see. We see it on both teams as well as the jet and chamber. What and the No, we don't see KO on both teams. What do you think KO offers versus other people like Reyna? Um, the Reyna pick is also once again a, a fragging pick. It's mm -hmm, just mm -hmm. that Reyna counters, not counters, but is is also as much as a duelist as an initiator as well, those eyes give your teammates a lot of, not only give yourself, but your teammates a lot of territory to take as well. So I think the pick here is, is purely just because they know if they can, oh, that was almost a really good fade lineup for them. Doesn't matter though, Skies are gonna pick up one. Boys stayed up one with a minute and 30 seconds remaining. Ooh. They know now. Action's been caught out. That is Viper down for the count. That is Boise stay up. Now three, the remaining two, now four. No, yeah, Spike still down. three as Daimyo's going Ooh. to go down. Ooh! Boise State is a defending team, I think. I, th I think they're just a strong... I think they do I think they do everything very strong. I think they are they are independent players, but they can also work so well as a team. And what I mean by that is they're independent fraggers. They can, they can do things by themselves, uh -huh. but they also win the situation calls for it, which is how Valorant's meant to be. They play as a team very well. And I think we saw that when they played with KO and Breach on Fracture, which is probably the reason why they call for that map, because they knew how to play that map so well with team comp-wise. So it looks like we're kinda... Going mid here. Going mid, yeah. We see somebody set up B. JBag's gonna be first one down. That is Sacred Heart up one, up two now, as is going to go down as well. Sacred Heart might be able to turn this around, round three. They now know an operator's in play. <gasps> that shot doesn't connect, but Sky's gonna clean up. Standing. Ooh. Green Runners Owen here missing two shots. They now know he's in CT. He's gonna make a push. He's gonna have dash. Smoking off one. They now probably have operator as well. Spike is gonna go down on B. So now the pressure is on Rihanna. Spike planted. 
Rihanna at least knows where they are, but also knows that they're setting up some cross angles and looking for him. <gasps> oh, wow. Condor is going to win the Battle of the Jets this round. We'll see if Rihanna is able to t take it back later. There's exactly what they did that you were talking about. Of They punish that aggression yeah. so well. And it's those, it's those times that I think Boise State gets too, uh, gets too comfortable to yes. a degree. And, and, and I think Sacred does that so well of, hey, like, we're still here. Like, don't, don't, don't cast it off. Don't we're, cast we're us out. Here, we're we'll here take to it down. Yeah, we're here to play. We can hit heads as well. Uh-huh. Don't cast us out. We'll take you down. Sacred Heart says two oh, to – or one to Boise State two. As we get set up here, it looks like each team's kind of, oh, we do see Viper split on B site. So Boise State knows if they'll push either one. Diamond's going to be the first one going down. Viper, I don't know if Viper can get back to the remaining members of Boise State as Skies goes down. Has the shorty. It's going to be interesting what they can do. Reddit sort of knows. <gasps> is going to pick one? up one, though. Is going to be able to run away with their life. Wait in the corner. That's the strat. They do have A with Spike as well. And in that same sense, we've been talking about Viper this entire time. Oh, Spike planted. Just a little jiggle peek there. Oh, Rihanna was reloading, wasn't able to get that out there. They were anticipating the right there. Oh, they just up one on the Condor. On that All them really putting in work, I gotta say. They were split from everybody else, but they've picked up several eliminations. And both members of Boise State are weak, though. Only a, just a couple bullets will take them out of this and give Sacred Heart the round. Oh, <gasps> Oh, no! no! Oh. Ririana put so much in there, but War and Peace was unfortunately full health. Oh, the, the, yeah, that was just that was unfortunate timing, and well, actually, that was great timing on Ririana's part, and but had a little bit of whiff, and yep. uh, War and Peace was also full HP. So by the time, by the time that happens, no, don't do this. Production so cruel. No. <laughs> We see we see the sneaky sneak, the 30 HP, the build up. Okay, we know he's gonna peek from the left here. There uh, just misses those first couple shots. And re, -re oh my gosh, that sky was weak. Oh man, it, 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 it hurts every now and then, but already back into it. I've been taking shots on two the to mid. Two. Doesn't quite get it. we on with the Marshall peeking mid, gets mollied off. You see some Viper poison there. They have a lot of mid control here. It's now determined on where they're going to go from this point on. Oh, oh wow. Sending Boise State back to spawn for next round. Two members, <laughs> J-Bag and all them going down. That is Boise State with three members in this and one ultimate online. The timing of them getting on site is about even with Boise State. Spike is going down. Brandon getting one, getting traded out, though. Boise State can't just Spike trade, planted. though. They're oh. down two. Welcome to my Sky's getting one, though. There Viper we go. Does get committed from Sacred Heart. They have a lot of the advantage going here. Eye is going to get sent out. Gonna get oh. Work. He's taken down. 2v2, 2v1. Was State might be able to take this back. They're looking for a Viper and a Viper ult, though. Oh, but playing outside of it could be the smart play. Are they going to play Ring Around the Rosie? They're doing a little bit of it. Playing Spike, playing for time. Now here the one they're looking all through oh, the smoke. Oh, this is scary. They don't see anybody. No! 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 Wow! Oh, Action's going to get that clutch playing outside of their own Viper's pit. That's why Viper is such an amazing defensive pick on this map. Oh, yeah. That, yeah, that Viper's pit, that was, that was very well committed by Action as well. Definitely saved that round. Without that Viper's Pit, I think we would have found the action in the corner and action yep. would have gotten 2v1, but yep. instead was able to 1v2 both of them and clutch that round out. So now Sacred Heart is up one They're for up the one, first yeah. time this series. Which is, you know, they, it, it was the, that's what I was talking about. It was their map pick. They know they're comfortable on this map. They know what they want out of everything they do. Taking mid control again. So we're doing this again, which is sort of a, a, a level of defaulting that I that I kind of see with them. They're comfortable doing this, so they're gonna keep, they're gonna keep doing it until it doesn't work out. You are powerless. The KO does get committed here. It looks like gonna be a little bit strong push on a beam. Nobody's sitting in mid heaven here. J back suppressed. Nobody quite there. Condor's gonna <gasps> pick on the skies. That's big to start off with. Skies was our fragger last time around. It's an A push actually. Fooled me. 
Looks like we see that Viper wall down mid, so Ooh. neither... Ooh, J-Bag is gonna get Ruzi. The team's even, now Boise stay up one as the spike is planted. Eyes gonna be committed along with ulti as well. Oh, commit is gonna find one against Viper. Viper sitting in smoke. Rebound is gonna get dogged out here. A lot of confusion set before here. Oh, Ash is gonna get one. Ash is quit fragging, oh my Ooh. gosh! Is this gonna be the set? No, no, not quite the second action clutch. Too low HP for that, but man, we know to watch that Sacred Heart Viper. That was, yeah, that, that was, that was big. They didn't actually Which is, uh, wondering what uh, Sky Heart, or uh, Sacred Heart's gonna end up doing this next round. Because, you know, the, the, the mid control for them has, has been working out, but this is where it didn't work out for them. They got, yeah. they, they got out fragged by Boise State there. So it looks like Boise State in that mid push last round, they had the better, I want to say they had the better fracking ability, but they weren't necessarily, I don't think they had as solid of a strategy going into Sacred Heart did. Because I think Sacred Heart, the way they all rotate to mid, that's very familiar to them. That's something that you they're always going to do, like you said, play. until it doesn't work. Oh, Sky's. Sky's been detected. They know up there, but do they know behind boxes? Here's Riviana. The Vandal with the classic. They find <gasps> out. Oh, wow. The timing there. He's going to be able to take down. J Bag is going to go down. This is now Boise State down one. <gasps> oh, wow. No. Boise State still down one. We have both Vipers and both Jets in the fight, and then Sacred Heart has a Sky. It's big. Both this teams guy? are kind of licking their wounds, waiting to re-engage. We see that jet dash there used. Ottoman doesn't know, though, that, that this jet is that off site here. Yeah. Might be able to see them here pretty this, quickly. This could be a big play. Oh, now here's it for There it is. There it is. Took the crosshair oh. away. Put it back. All Dim's going to get that elimination on the Condor. Oh, they know. The, oh, they know, though. Ah, puts the Viper Last wall down. Can't quite get You'll through to the other side. Down, it's up to you, Rihanna. The ulti was committed. There's six bullets in the chamber. Will be able to do it this dis distance with the Vandal. Left. Doesn't have Spike. Spike is in an awkward position here. Going to clear it, though. It's going to get a hold of it now. Ooh. Where they might plant it for safe spot, Riviana might have... Oh, oh. Just barely cleared it. It's just a matter of... Seize his elbow! Oh, wow. Riviana's Should be able to get that defuse, up. though. Oh, yeah, no. Plant just got split down. Definitely gonna have it. Wow, that was that was big. I honestly thought uh, oh, Sacred Heart no Sky there was going to mm -hmm. to plant in the middle there. It did say though, so they did get a little bit of eco out of there. You know, four hundred credits here. This was yeah. That's a really Ooh. strong pick from uh, from Skies there. Getting that pick onto the ulting chamber, such a big pick for them. Then but this see. is Sacred Heart going one for one now. Yeah, definitely. Boise State is now just up one to Sacred Hearts three. Boise State has four. What's the eco looking like for both of these teams? I think both their eco is looking strong here. I think, I mean, can't exactly see it, but Yamio has a, has an operator there, so you know Boise State's feeling good on it. And uh, Sacred Hearts a little scattered here in terms of what the oh, 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 does it matter? Condor is going to get that headshot, eliminating the operator from the uh, field of player. Great flash. Nobody's going to clear Sky. <gasps> Sky, there's the double. Members going to skies in that corner. Check your corners. Oh my God, that was such a big start for them. Getting the pick on to Damio, who had the operator here. Yeah. Full confidence gets taken out, mm -hmm. and then they have full control of sight from this point on. I think they get the pick on Rihanna here as well, but they just they don't clear corners. They didn't look at skies. Nope. We also see, I believe that was the jet ult committed as well. We see those knives out. It, it, it's a, that's a devastating loss to Sacred Heart going forward, but a big pickup for Boise State. Definitely. What would you say that that's done for Boise State's eco going in? Uh, maximized it, and you know now their confidence level is back up to where it is. The only thing after Sky is going to get a contest mid. Doesn't get the pick, but does get a little bit of uh, damage on Kondo there. Spray through some boxes. Yeah, a push up is going to get the one click. Do they know Breezy and Kondo is there? Oh. What's it that they do? The trade, the trade. Oh, 60 
26 HP, 26 HP. But that jet is also real weak. Sitting at probably 55, maybe, for J-Bag to try to take out. We see... This might be the Boise State 2v1. We see... We got to get J-Bag in there. J-Bag's got to get to the point to engage this jet and this sky. The dog is going to be committed here. No flash is going to go there. J-Bag is going to take a little bit of cover. Gonna peek here. <gasps> oh, oh, just barely misses on War Piece. The flash is gonna run with the eye commit. Is it gonna find no. anybody? But Condor is gonna pick it up in the midst of the confusion. Five to four here. This is a close game. Yeah, this is much closer than the first game. And I mean, we're seeing that Sacred Heart, this is their map. Mm -hmm. They have their strategies, they know nice. what they're doing, they play that strong mid game. Mm -hmm. They've picked B site a lot here. We, we've kind of see that a lot. A lot of their wins are sorted towards that B site. Uh, yeah. You know, that's where their wins are coming from. They're on B site there. And the ones they have gone A, I don't think they have one in A site here. So that's kind of a big indicator towards Boise State. But it's really not because as I'm saying all this, they're five stacking A site. And now they're not pushing mid. So Boise State's probably a little confused here. My friend's going to pick it up. Ooh. Ooh, action's gonna take down Skies there. So this is currently Boise State down two. Oh. That chamber's looking real weak. So is Condor takes some damage there. Daimyo now down. Net, this is down to Daimyo and Viper. Seeing what we can do here, we see the Viper. Ooh, Daimyo can do quite a lot. Says so can oh, no. ult him. The Daimyo ult him duo. Now it's two v two. They've even things out. We see, we see the Viper pit come out. This could be dangerous. <gasps> Clutch. The, the wall's down. They now know where Warpiece is. It's going to get there the blind fire. Oh, wow. What a turnaround. What a turnaround for Boise State there. Boise had, State now up two rounds. I had full, like, that was throughout my entire thought process. I thought this was going to be a Sacred Heart W here for uh -huh. this round and, and end up tying it all up, but mm -hmm. it's not. They end up taking this one, and that just that's two players doing what they need to do, being so efficient and okay. clicking heads. They played that exactly how they wanted to, and they end up getting a win there. They've got to be feeling on top of the world right now. So it looks like Boise State can do full buy? Yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. Can. And Ri Rihanna have an operator here. But 424 4 Riviana, nobody's going to be on B. <laughs> the first time, nobody's on B. Yeah. Riviana's waiting for it, though. The ult coming out. Ready to go down. Not down out of the game forever. He's going to get a kick. Oh, Sky Cruising and Fire and Beast are down out of the game, though. Damn, Sky's just fragging out. Oh, oh they're going to get taken out. One enemy remaining. Looks like Action's that final remaining member standing. The Viper B Viper oh. win it. The knife came out there. That the was knife a bit, did that come out. That was there. But it was a 3v1. So it the was The knife came of, out in the Viper yeah. v. Viper. Assert do asserting dominance. Asserting, asserting dominance. <laughs> that's, that's what that is. That's what that Are is. Are you asserting dominance, though, if you lose the Viper 1v1? Yeah, true. You know, it's a game of teamwork, no? <laughs> so, it's a game know, of it's, teamwork, it's teamwork, but asserting dominance is not teamwork. <laughs> I'm caught in a fallacy here. I don't know. I've been caught in my lie. <laughs> what? It's really cool commit. They're going A again here. Nobody committing to B. Well, BSU is full push B. Nobody on A site. Second Heart is yet to realize this. The flash comes out. Going to get a blind on Damio. Too late for the big mode coming out. Going to get a two now. Five moments. Going to come out. Absolutely denying their push onto A here. Condor's gonna take out Ririana oh. with the battle of the Jets there. All Dan's gonna take out Condor for it though. Oh, oh my god. Boy State's gonna win that pretty clean. And that's that's last round there, so you know, moving into the half mm -hmm. here, it is now on Sacred Heart to defend here. And you know, Boise State's feeling pretty strong going into this. This was a close game. But ever since that kind of that two V five clutch, I believe it was. Yeah. Boise State's been racking up kills like no other. Yeah, Boise State has finally found their footing. They've adjusted the Sacred Heart strategy. And I think they're going to try to snowball this. I think they're going to try to just take round after round after round after this. Oh, yeah. Which, I mean, Sacred, yeah, it's 
We saw Sacred Heart defended on defended on um, Fracture it was, and they did a good job in my opinion. I think Boise State, you know, ultimately was able to pull out in front, but I think they did a good, jo good job. So yeah, and they've been doing a good job on Fracture here. So what's kind of their commitment strategy in terms of what they want to do? Yeah, it looks like we've got the wall go down there. So, looks like Boise State is trying to do point A. That's why we've split the point in half. Those remaining two members of Sacred Heart are just trying to get there right now. Ririana is going to take out action. This Boise State up one already, and two members haven't even rotated yet. Down to these last two members, actually. Yeah. Everybody on point A was taken out. Daimyo's hunting them down. Hopefully not with his knife out. Okay. Oh. oh, wow. It's going to get popped around that corner. Hunter is very low here. He does get right there it is. death hill. They now know where War and they Peace is. They know where War and Peace is. Oh, and that sky is just going to put down War and Peace. And 9-4 here. They have four rounds to bring it back, while Sacred Art has a long journey to go. Definitely. So it's a big mountain to climb, but I think it's one that Sacred Art can do. Especially if we see Boise State go back to these sort of ways of being hyper aggressive here. I but think if they don't, though, Boise State's in a really good position to yep. just kind of take it from here. Yep. Because right now we do have the eco advantage and we want to keep going with that. And as long as we play conservatively and don't full life, you yeah. know, I mean, we should be able to keep the advantage that we have. Go to take Tub. Teams are kind of looking for each other. We see Boise State on point A. We see Jet a little bit split. We see that Viper in the middle of the Viper wall is going to come out. Ooh, the action is going to get caught out. Brendan as well. We see those final two members trying to rotate to point A. Looks like Jet's going. Ooh, you're gonna immediate Skies is going to immediately get taken out by Cruzy. And now Rihanna has to be careful going to take out Cruzy themselves. And they're just trying to click Warren Peace's head. So, I mean, not as clean as Boise State would have liked, but a round win is a round win. A round, yeah. The the round win. Wow, that's sort of a, a tongue twister, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's just that's just exactly what they Ooh. want. This pick, uh, Cruzy gets two here headshots on this midpoint. It's it's insane, and you know they're playing for mid, expecting Boise State to play mid here as well, and they're encountering the resistance. Boise State's putting up a fight, and they're doing mm -hmm. it very well. So Boise State's like we know your game now. Yeah. We're just oh yeah. We're gonna hard push A, which is obviously something that Sacred Heart isn't as prepared for as they are for the mid push. They are contesting tunnels down here though. We're gonna smoke it off. They're gonna realize the smoke's committed here. So both walls on A point. So that looks like the, oh. that action's gonna go down first. This looks like what the fight is taking out. Ririana. Oh no. Not gonna be able to get Cruzy. So that is both teams even right now. Viper for Jet. Ooh! Uh, Sky, Sky's getting two. Does get three, not before taken by Brandon. So no. now this is 2v2. This is even here. On point A, we still, the smoke walls are gonna go back up. We Autumn see Autumn just kinda hiding. Yeah, just waiting for somebody to walk in that in that uh, Viper Orb there and absolutely not oh. by the story. Not before j is gonna pick it on to Brandon. Might have the pick on <gasps> War and Peace, and it does happen. Didn't have the opportunity. 11 to four, two rounds left. Oh, fine. Aldam was just kinda waiting for somebody to step on the Viper, as it were there, and didn't happen. Aldam was able to clean everybody else up. To take, take, a back, take a back seat, little bro, I got this. <laughs> just clean it up. But we do see the trades come out here. Consistently, Sacred oh, yeah. Heart is putting it down to these small situations. There hasn't really been a whole lot of rounds where it's like, wow, Boise State is running away from this. You know, it's 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 there. Sacred Heart just needs to lock it down just that tiny bit more. The push from Brandon out here, pretty aggressive on mid. He's going to pick up an action. Nice. He stayed up one. Ooh. Even now. Crosshair is being up one. Back. Guy's gonna rotate around here. Bring him down. More Prowler's gonna be committed. They now know something's mid. Here comes out the eye, or not the eye, I'm sorry. The grab. j back not aware somebody's in window is gonna be taken down, but now they know this is a 2 2 game now. Ooh! The Ares. Now it's a 2 2 game. Both sides are even. We see Viper Jet versus Sky KO. 
All them's gonna plant things, which forces Sacred Heart to make their move. We see them rotating kind of all the way around long. They're not even on point A yet, where Boise State is currently kind of hanging out. Yeah, they don't know this, but they can, you know, they are, they are full sprinting through here, so. Sort of, with, with Skies being in their spawn, which is probably going to, uh, I'm sorry, that's re Rihanna. Oh, 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 oh. Aldem knows that they're there. We see Ribiana coming back. No, they're looking away. One enemy oh. Ribiana's going to turn around and support just in time. Oh, man. There it is. The team is there. One kill per each. There's that Boise State victory that we're looking for, Match that round point. win. Match point. Boise State just needs this final round. Do you think A or B is the push? Uh, I think they I think they're going to end up defaulting it, if not go B push here. Just, I, I, I think I think they look confident here. This crossfire here, it was Brandon was Loki kind of big Karen here. I mean, got that three piece there. Yeah. Just unfortunately gets met with a shorty, and uh, you know, I think a short, I think a shorty wins against an Aries all the time. Especially when you just it, yeah, get around that like corner. Yeah, when you're, when you're that close. Away from them, yeah. Yep. Nice, Not there. even. When you're like phasing through their character models, we see Ririana committing the ultimate on this oh, final no. round. That puts Sacred Heart in a really uncomfortable position. Boise State's committing a lot of ultimates. We see J-Bag and Daimyo take down. Ririana's going to get taken down, though. That is Boise State up one. And the, we see the Viper's pit come out. Ooh. Oh, no. Man. Tried that shorty, rush. that yeah. shorty just hurts. Catching out. Oh. Daimyo's going to catch War and Peace out. Nas is down to the last defender. Unless this goes, unless Brandon pulls off a uh, a four v one clutch, but Damio has the right. Doesn't look <gasps> away. Oh, no. oh there he is. There he knows. Matter. Attackers Damio's going to get the final pick onto Brandon, and uh, that's a Boise State up. That is Boise State going to two and zero oh, Sacred Heart, but that feels a little bit deceptive to be honest, because oh, yeah. those were pretty close games. I mean, it wasn't until the end there where Boise State like really hit their stride and started taking round after round after round. And there were points where Sacred Heart was up one or two rounds oh, yeah. over Boise State, which, I mean, you need at least two to win, so. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think if, you know, just looking straight forward at it, it's a little deceptive. And Boise State is always looking for talented Players, production, and broadcasters, top talent, along with good grades and eligibility, can earn scholarships as well. Sign up today by visiting boisestate.edu slash esports for more information. So before we get into discussing player of the game mm. or and our top five, do you have any final thoughts on that match? Uh, I think Sacred Heart, you know, obviously they played they played their heart out. Uh, I think they did I think they did really well and they contested Boise State very well. You know, Boise State continues to steamroll through this tournament, mm -hmm. right? That's very apparent with the 4-0 that, that they have leading here so far. So they're a very strong Valorant team. So they put up a very good fight. And, you know, I think just at the end of the day, Boise State came out as being the more efficient players. Yep. And, you know, that's that's what they that's what they deserve for with that W, right? They play hard. You know, they win. But I think Sacred Heart did what they needed to do. And they came out, they win, and they really showed Boise State uh, a, a more challenging time to come out and play this game. They really punished uh -huh. Boise State oh, yeah. for their overaggression, which uh -huh. is honestly one of the best things that you can see. Boise State yeah. have to deal with, right? Yep. And Boise State definitely adapted their strategy. So do you have thoughts on player of the game? Oh, that's kind of hard because we had Ririana and uh, we had Ririana and Skies kind of towards the end of that uh, second match that were kind of just popping off. Um, I'm either going to say, yeah, I mean, uh, those are my two picks. I think Ririana or Sky. I think okay, it's hard you pick one, and I'll pick the other. Okay, I'll, I'm going to say Sky. Okay, so I will say Ririana there. Right. We have, we so, have conclusion. we're going to see who that is. We have a little bit of a teaser, kind of a player trio to see before we get into the actual player of the game. Yep. So it looks like Ririana is our oh, – or Sky's, Sky's is player. our first play that we're going to see. We see – J-Bag take out Brendan over there just on the kill feed. Cruzy takes out J-Bag. Skies is going to get that double kill immediately after that, which flips the fight in Boise State's favor and enables them to do some things. And then we have Daimyo. Daimyo is always always such a classic pick to go for. You know, is going to frag out in any situation that you put him in, especially where it's needed. And this first run frag out was Ooh, so Oh, that was great. so good. Yeah, this pop flash and then just to the, the two-shot headshot and just winning that fight against War Peace as well. The flick was amazing. 
All them. <gasps> all wow. them? No, wow, yeah. Rihanna's not even there. So we see all them. They got several, like, action got those, and then all them was the one that ultimately kind of helped us clean this up and helped Boise State. We see that first of and they actually ended up getting that triple kill, which was super big for Boise State and actually kept us in the game that round. Oh, yeah. I th yeah, they, that round as well. So actually, yeah. But all three of those players had amazing contributions. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, obviously, I don't they're think on there, the, I don't think the there was really any player on the team. You're not sticking with Skies? No, I'm going to stick with Skies, but I'm just uh -huh. saying out of the five that we had, I think all five players had their individual moments of clutching up or doing really well in a round. Definitely. Mm -hmm. I think I'll go with Daimyo just based off of that player reel because I really loved the flash around the corner and then immediately come around and headshot some people. I was super into that, so we'll see who our player of the game is. Drum roll. Skies, Daimyo, Skies, it skies yeah, there this, it is. This five piece, yeah, I think it was the only player actually in, on Boise to get an ace. I believe, off the top of my head. Oh yeah, just hiding in that corner and was like, ooh, let's go. Shut down the jet ult and then made that oh. full ace there. Fantastic job. And the player of the game is brought to you by Idaho Central Credit Union, who believes a great player makes a team more successful, just like Idaho Central's helping members achieve financial success. Skies is the Idaho Central Credit Union player of the game with this amazing 5K. And then immediately after that, we see the double kill, and then we see them put in a lot of work on this point. Not to mention Alden with that close-up shorty. Yeah, that, that, uh, shorty's always fun to see. You know, it's never not fun to see. And, you know, getting that flick there is always big. Gets the second head tap and just yep. from there takes it forward. No, definitely had a major impact on the course of this game. And, and Boise State played their heart out. And they, they deserve this win at the end of the day. So now that we've gone through player, just before we get into our top five plays of the game, and stick around for Rocket League after that. Do you have any thoughts on this? What is the biggest takeaway that you think Boise State got from tonight? Uh, being punished for over, <laughs> over committing. I think you, Definitely. Hi you, you highlighted that so much, but I just want to I just want to really point it out and make it mm -hmm. make it in the spotlight as well because that's something that I think a lot of teams can do is we can get overconfident and 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 prideful at times over mm -hmm. that line that we talked about. And I think, you know, Sacred Heart was that team of like, hey, like we're going to shut you down when that happens. And I think that's I think it's important to have for Boise State. And then Boise State was ever very quickly able to adapt to that. I don't think I definitely don't think they were like no, being uh, yeah, over uh, yeah. aggressive every uh, yeah. single round. Otherwise, I think Sacred Heart would have beat them. Yeah, I think <laughs> I think if they kept if they kept doing it, yeah, obviously, yeah. yeah. But I think I think Boys State it was sort of a good reminder in the back of their head of like, all yeah, right, definitely. we're getting punished a little too hard. Let's let's go back to our to our normal out fragging, getting a five piece ace. You know? Definitely. And our top five game, our top five plays are presented by the Idaho Army National Guard, who invites you to take your impressive critical thinking skills into real time. With more than 10 jobs offering a $20,000 bonus and your degree of choice paid for, the Idaho Army National Guard is the best team out there. Reach out to them on Twitch at iGuard Gaming. And from all of us here at Boise State, thanks for watching our ECAC Week 4 Valorant. Still 4-0. Come back later for some more Rocket League.